Hello everybody, this is Zoe from No Safer Place. Um, excuse the lack of makeup and lack of bothering with my hair. <laughs> it's been a bad day today. And I did a poll over on my Twitter and you guys wanted to see a vlog of me with my 7 day heart monitor on. I'm just about to leave to go and get it on. If you guys didn't know, a 7 day heart monitor is obviously a monitor that you wear for 7 days. You have two electrodes here and here and a little pack that will clip on down here. And it just kind of monitors your heart and every time that you have any symptoms or you get palpitations, anything like that, you have to record it and then it gets sent back to their database just for them to know the rhythm of your heart, the electricity in your heart and all things like that. I have had it quite a few times before so I know what to expect, it is not nice. I expect I won't be able to sleep because I never normally do. I am also normally super allergic to the little electrodes that stick to your skin so I feel like this is going to be a really tough week. And I know how scary it was when I first had mine done so I just wanted to record it for you guys because you all wanted to see what it was like and even if it helped with one person and makes you feel a bit more in the know about what's going on then this video is worthwhile so i'm going to go to the hospital now to go and pick it up and have it fitted and i will show you all when i've got it on so i've had the monitor on now for about five or six hours um it's not too bad at the moment it's really really warm so the stickers are coming off already and they've only given me one set of spares which i think is going to be an absolute nightmare because obviously it's really warm and they're going to come unstuck and I'm meant to use two sets of them in a week which isn't looking too great so let me show you the machine this is what it looks like it's just a little pack and when you feel your chest going or you experience any symptoms you press this little button here this green one and it will make a beeping sound obviously I won't do it maybe I'll film when I do have an episode just so you can see what it does and it lasts and um, records for a minute and then it beeps again to show that it's finished recording so this is what it looks like and then you have one attached here and one attached here which isn't too bad I mean it's not the most attractive accessory but there are a lot worse things out there <laughs> so as I say I've only had it on a few hours at the moment but I've already pressed the button twice because I've had two symptoms already um, it only records 10, so if I fill up the 10 before the week's out, I can take it off and go and give it back, which I'd imagine will probably be the case anyway, because of how often I get the symptoms. And you also get given a little slip of paper to fill out. I don't want to show you all my details, but there's a little bit at the bottom where you have to write down the date and time that the symptoms occurred and what the symptoms were, which is obviously a given you also get given a little pack with the set of spare electrodes in these things and also something else I want to say I've only had this on a few hours like I said and I've been over the park with my sister and a few of her friends are there not ones that I knew very well at all but people do feel like they can come up to you and ask you what's going on people that you don't know I mean, you wouldn't dream of going up to someone in a wheelchair that you didn't know and saying, what's wrong with you? I mean, a few kids come up to me and ask, which is fine. I mean, kids are curious and they have the best intentions, so I didn't mind telling the kiddies. But when grown adults, I mean, one of them came up to my sister and said, oh, what has your sister got on? As if I wasn't there. And it just makes me feel really uncomfortable that people just can't address you. I mean, but even if they did address you, it'd still be pretty rude because they don't even know me. They just know my sister. And it does, well, it does make me feel uncomfortable because it's not something I like talking about particularly. I'm doing it for you guys because I know that it will help people. But just because people are just damn nosy, I just don't really like it. <laughs> so I will keep you updated on how things are going. I'd imagine this sticker here is going to come off within the next few hours and I don't know what the hell I'm going to do then. <laughs> I 
I know that after a while, these are the things I'm allergic to by the way, and I know after a while you can change them from this side to this side and that one to that side. So I guess I'll do that because I can feel it getting irritated already. I'm going to have to take an antihistamine or something just to calm it down. I just think it's going to be a really stressful few days. Excuse the burnness. <laughs> but this is night one with the monitor on. It is already being so annoying. It is so, so sore and flared up. And I really don't think I'm going to sleep. I'm sure I will be vlogging tonight in the middle of the night and i'm sure these bags will be even bigger by tomorrow i will let you all know how i get on and i hope i sleep better than i did last night because last night even without this on i slept so bad because it was so hot so i genuinely have no hope for tonight <laughs> morning everyone so this is the start of day two i haven't even had it on 24 hours and i've already pressed it three times and they also had a trial one, which they did in the hospital to check it was working. So there's four recordings on there, and <coughs> sorry, it only takes ten, so I feel like this is going to be over pretty quickly. I just woke up from my first night, and it was bad, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. I mean, it didn't keep me up for too long. I mean, last time I was up the whole night with it, but I was only up for about an hour. It took me to get to sleep, and then... I woke up a few times during the night but not for long and I don't think I pressed it during the night that's what I'm really scared of that I'm just going to press it so many times during the night and just fill up the recordings of just nothing it's really like because the button is at the front I feel like every time I roll over my finger's going to press it or I'm just going to bump it on the bed or something like that but yeah as first nights go I feel like that went pretty well as you can see my burn's gone down as well, completely irrelevant to the vlog, but my face is looking a lot less Rudolph-like today. <laughs> and also something that I found really, really helps with the like reaction that I've been getting around the electrodes is if you put germaline just around the edges of it, it really like cools it down and it seems to be doing the trick right now. I mean I haven't had fingers crossed I haven't had any really bad reactions since I put it on a few times so I'm just going to keep doing that every few hours and hope that it stays how it is because do I dare say it things are going pretty well so far switched the pads over for the first time and that was about seven hours ago now so bear in mind it was seven hours ago and it still looks like that I mean there's still like that's a bit of dirt from the sticker but it's still like really inflamed and red and there's little tiny blisters where it has been I mean this one here that was on this side is completely like healed already it's fine but this one's really bad so i've swapped sides so i've got it on this side now and one here i have now had eight episodes in total in the space of just over about 30 hours now and my chest has been really really bad i think just again because of the weather it's so warm and it just really makes my pot symptoms even worse so it has been a rough 30 hours or so but i feel like i'm actually getting on really well with this heart monitor like so much better than any i've had before i'm not sure if they've changed the stickers or it's a different machine but it is just so much better and i feel so happy i'm so happy that i've got some proper readings and my skin hasn't flared up as bad as last time morning guys feeling a little bit emotional this morning because i'm just about to leave to go to the consultants not for my heart monitor just for the results of some previous tests that i had and just to see where we go from here really and how to go forward what to do where to go next because i think i'm going to be referred to hospital in london so i'm super super nervous which isn't doing great for the heart monitor which is still on by the way <laughs> i've only got one recording left so i'd imagine when i go to the hospital this morning I'll just tell them and they'll probably tell me to take it off then because getting nine recordings in 48 hours I mean it's pretty certain that something's going on there 
So when I take the pads off, hopefully later, I will show you what they're like. It's really friggin' painful. <laughs> but I thought I would show you guys just because I didn't expect the pain when I first had them. And it is pretty bad. Anyway, I will keep you updated with how it goes at the consultants. I've got everything crossed for today. I've actually made a little bit of an effort today. I've done my hair and put lipstick on. No makeup, just lipstick. <laughs> but I will let you know how it all goes. And I hope to see you all soon. Good morning. It's actually been almost a week since I had the pads taken off and I just haven't really recorded. As you can see, all the marks have gone now, but they did take a good few days to go down. I didn't record because I was just super happy and taking everything in really because I obviously went to get my results and I took the heart monitor off there and then and did the re like went to sort the recordings out there and then which I wasn't expecting I was expecting it to take another few weeks and for me to have to go back to get the results so I was so happy that I didn't have to go back again but they basically have said that they're now referring me to the neurology hospital in London to meet with some people that know exactly what they're doing and know all about POTS and there are only three or four consultants at this place so I'm take, thinking it's going to take a while to get an appointment there but it would definitely be worth it and yeah that's why I didn't film really because I was just super happy and my mum was here because she lives far away so I don't get to see her much so we was just celebrating a bit of good news for a change but yeah, I took the pads off straight away. <laughs> I couldn't wait to like film them for you guys. So I just took them off straight away. And the marks have gone. They did take a few days. But they were nowhere near as bad as last time. I'm not sure why. Maybe the heat actually helped. <laughs> because they definitely weren't as sticky as they were before. But yeah, I hope this vlog has helped at least someone out there. And as I say, when I have the full testing at the new hospital, I will record that for you guys. And in the hope that it will help someone else. So yeah, thank you for watching and I hope to see you all again soon. Let me know if you enjoyed this vlog and if you'd like to see more of them like this. Thank you. Bye.